Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to talk a little bit about Rashard Bateman. Now, we've been clamoring for Rashard Bateman to go back to what he was his first and second year, and obviously he's had injuries that's kind of keeping him from being that guy. But if you look at the chart on the screen, Sunday night he got his most targets. Now, he only had three catches, but he ha he's had three catches in a couple of games, one, two, three, four to be exact. But he got his most targets of the season Sunday. So I wanted to know, is Rashad Bateman really getting open? So we're going to take a look at his six targets from Sunday night and see, you know, whether he's open or did he, like, make spectacular catches or, or is he getting ignored or, or what's going on? So I just wanted to show that sh this stat before we started the video to kind of let you see, like, this was his most targeted game of the season. So is he getting back in the form? Is he getting back in the trust of Lamar? We'll see. Welcome back to Sip to Tally Films. This video is brought to you by Patreon.com backslash Sip to Tally. Join the Patreon for exclusive vids, early release vids, on-screen shoutouts, access to members on the giveaways, and added monthly tally points. Hop on over to patreon.com backslash sip to tally to see which one of the four tiers fits for you. Now let's get started. I appreciate you for joining in. Let's get into the Rashad Bateman film and see if he was really getting open Sunday night versus the Jaguars. That's him spot shadowed at the top. And you're going to have a big curl, deep curl route. Pushing vert. Settles down. Now, he should be getting the ball right now. The ball should be on. Now, Lamar is looking toward Zay's way, but he'd have to try to get it over uh, Lloyd. But Bateman's still open. Has, he's worked his way back to the ball. Watch him come back down the, down the uh, stem. He's coming back down the stem to keep that separation. And, again, at this point, you know, if, if you can't get it to Zay, come off of it. You're still looking at the same guy. Come off of it. Come to your next guy because he's sitting there. He's open now. He's open, 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 still open, 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 open. Come off and say, still open, right there for the first down. Now he finally he finally gets it. So yes, on the first play, he was open. And he might have been open on other plays, but I only did his targets. So we're just looking at his targets. He had six targets, and this is the most targets he's had all season if you are noticed by the, the stats that I showed at the beginning of the film. <laughs> Got to match your bottom down here. Run a deep over route. Great job of working his own area. That, all that open space. Good job of getting in the open space and leaving the safety behind. And what I like about it, coming down the stem. Like, he realizes he's getting this ball and he works down to protect the quarterback. He don't just come flat. He works back down, back down the yards to protect the throw and still gets in the open spot. And it's, I mean, it's a little bit more difficult catch because he had to kind of jump for it a little bit. If he had went flat down the line, maybe he'd catch it in stride, but I still like the fact that he's coming back down the line protecting the throw. And again, he didn't have to jump much, though. So, you know, with him being like 6'2", 6'3", I think he's that tall. Go to third. At the bottom of your screen down here. Quick out. Well, speed out. Well, it's not speed. It's a deep out. Here's a deep out. Again, if he was the primary, he's open. Look at look at the DB. Look at the the way the DP the DB. The position he's in. Like that's not great position <laughs> to defend this out route. So if he was the prime, if Bateman was the primary on this, he's open. He's open. Uh, primary looks to be Zay Flowers again, and he's stuck like glue. 30, 31 is like syrup on pancakes over there. Now, if Odell's the number two, Odell probably should be getting the ball right now. Should be. Should be. But if, if Bateman was the number one on this one, wide open. But again, 
Bateman does a good. He don't just quit on the play. Does a good job working scrimmage drills because he knows Lamar can get out of there. Starts off as a block because you're probably thinking he's running. When he look back, when he looks back and realizes that he's still in a, a passing area where he can still throw the ball, he adjusts it. He don't block no more. He go find open space. Go find open grass. Lamar gets it to him. Cause you you can see initially right here he's like, oh Lamar finna run, let me block. So he starts to block, but then he look back. Or maybe it was just a push off. He was either a push off or he was starting to block one of the two. I'd have to be in his mind to know what he was thinking. Let's go to the next one. He's at the top of your screen here. And I want you to know, if, if you don't know, I'm not going to say that this guy is good or bad, but um, the last couple of weeks when I was checking uh, passes defended, this cat was leading the league in PDs. Now, I don't know if that's because he's not that good and people keep trying him, or he is that good and he just keep knocking the ball down. But this this corner does not suck. This is a pretty good corner. He was leading the league in passes defended um, when I was checking like two weeks ago. I don't know if he's still there or not, but he was. I got to run another deep out. Now, that's NFL open. Ball is low and away. I need you to catch that. I need you to catch that. That's a great, that's a great throw. That's a great throw. I need, I need, I need him to catch that. With that ball on his hands. I need him to catch that. You gotta have that, buddy. Like that's this is NFL open. Ball's low and away. On your hands. You gotta have that. I mean, I don't know about y'all, but to me, that's a drop. Yeah, I know he was laid out for it, but that's, this is the NFL. You got you, you to gotta have him. Similar to the one Odell drop. Lamar got in the ball low and away. He dropped it. Now, on this one, just, he's not open on this one. <laughs> he didn't win this goal ride at all. Great hips by the DB. Great you, great job by the DB of using the, the sideline as leverage, putting hands on him while looking for the ball. And now the ball's uncatchable, but still, he's not open. <laughs> I, I felt like this was, and I remember watching this game, watching this play, and realizing that I felt like this was just a throwaway. I feel like that was just a throwaway because he never, he never really gave this concept over here a chance. Because if you did, look at the curl route. If you gave this if you gave this concept a chance, look at the curl route. That's your first down right there. It's like he was going, I felt like he was going to this favor regardless, and Bateman didn't win. And the reason I say that because he gonna try to look off the left side. Watch, I'm talking about Lamar. He looks at the left and never really get. He don't give it nothing a chance over there to develop because he don't have pressure. If he wanted the first down, there it is right there to to, to Zay. This is the first down though right here. So I think he predetermined this and Bateman just didn't win. Right. Now you got a bunch of man concepts. You're going to run a little mesh action. You're going to the deep pylon nearest to us. Does he get away? He works that, works all that, and gets open. He works all that and gets open. But 31, realizing that he's he can't get up on him, he undercuts it. And makes it instead of the ball with 31 undercutting it, Lamar can't just throw it flat to Bateman because he may have a chance to get it. So with him undercutting it, knowing he realizes that, you know, hey, I, it, I'm beat, but at, at my angle, I got to make the, hard, the throw harder. So if that's the case, Lamar got to put air on it to get it over here. And that makes the throw a little bit harder, even though he's technically beating the, the DB. See, he dives for it. Like, if he had he been in trail position, that dive wouldn't have been an option. So that was smart by him to, to, to try to undercut it and go for it. He made, he made it harder. Bateman dives for it and is incomplete. But when I when I saw it from this angle, and you only going to have all the back end for this one play, I think this is a catchable ball too. That's why I put this angle on there because I needed to see it a little bit better. But real smart by 31 to try to undercut that, realizing, hey, you see him at the bottom of your screen? That's them right there. He, he's beat. He's beating 31 because this is man coverage. 
The 31 does a good job of undercutting and realizing, hey, I just got to make this throw harder. I feel like he got to have that too. I know he's diving for the ball, I understand, but this is the NFL. You got, you got to catch him. You got to catch him when you get your opportunities. And, you know, we know he don't get a lot of opportunities. So is he getting open? Yes. I think he missed. I think I think in my book he should have two drops. But that's, that's me. Uh, that's two opportunities, one for a first down. That one would have been for a touchdown. But I think he's moving better. I think he's running better routes. I think his confidence is there a little bit. I don't know if them drops are going to kind of kind of hurt that confidence. But, hey, if we can get if he can round back into shape in these last couple of weeks and give us another viable threat like like he did because he was getting open. He just got to catch the ball. He could have easily went to a, a five-catch game for about 80 yards, easily, and a touchdown. But I think he's a well on his way to being back, and I think – he'll be a viable piece of the machine that is the Baltimore Ravens offense because they're going to need contributions from everybody. Likely Justice Hill, Odell, Zay, Bateman, um, and uh, most obviously Lamar. So um, I think I think Bateman is pretty much back. He just got to maximize his opportunities. I like the way he's moving. He doesn't seem to be slower. He got his burst back. And um, so, yeah, he getting open. Just finished the catches. And that's the that answers the question at the beginning of the video and on the thumbnail. So I appreciate you guys for coming through. If you have not liked the video, please do so. If you have not subscribed, please do so. And hit that bell so you can be notified when we drop the videos the rest of the 2023 season. So I appreciate y'all for coming through. Remember the motto, because we hadn't said it in a while, is FTMF, because the film don't lie, unlike some people. Peace and love.